We are in fire season, and that threat has some in Waianae Valley taking a unique approach to fire prevention. Paul Drew shows us the effort to help tame wildfires with wildlife. In the back of Waianae Valley, you'll not only find historic archaeological sites, you'll also find an ancient form of fire prevention from these four-legged residents. <laughs> Our sheep are pretty much, you know, our grass, our weed whackers, our grass cutters. They help us with a lot of our maintenance. AK herds more than a dozen sheep around Ka'ala Farm. The animals don't eat kala, which is the main plant grown here, but they eat everything else and are used to mow down grass and plants, reducing the fuel load if there is a fire, because Waianae Valley can turn into a tinderbox. Every summer we have fires, basically, but we've had major fires. We had one fire that started in Lulule about uh, 12 years ago. It came over the ridge and then burned the entire back of the valley. Yeah. And there was another, the 2018 fire was the most um, devastating. When fires burned in the valley, fighting them was a challenge, not just because of the hilly landscape, but because of the archeological sites found around Ka'ala Farm. It has numerous heiau, house lots, other archeological features. And in terrain like this, often you'd be able to use a bulldozer to be able to create fire breaks and control the fire. However, because of the cultural sensitivity, that tool isn't available for us. So we rely heavily on the helicopters and hand crews and small brush engines to do the job. Now through federal and local funding, a project is underway to have the sheep create fire breaks for the next time flames sweep through Waianae Valley. We're focusing on the fuel reduction here with this project by having utilizing the sheep graze down the grass so that the flame height, if it does ignite the grass, is low and there's a less chance of spotting downwind by heavy winds. A concern especially along Waianae Valley Road, where there's been a high number of intentionally set fires over the years. Fire is like flooding. They follow certain routes. So if you can get to those ignition points through a variety of means and cutting the grass, is a, it's a big job. But you put the sheep in there and if you have a shepherd and, and you have movable fences, I mean, you can nail it down, the fuel load down in a couple days. There are some challenges to caring for these living lawnmowers, which have to be protected from stray dogs and from being stolen by humans. But AK says these sheep are smart and friendly and do a great job. I can put them in an area that you know, it take two, three guys to weed whack. It would, it's, it's hard out here it's, and it's costly, not just on man's time, but the machine, the gas. And then you, know, you can only get so far. With these animals, we've been able to clear whole sections of space in record time compared to weed whacking. While there is just a small flock now, the goal is to have hundreds of sheep rotating around parcels in the valley, not just to create fire breaks, but one day to clear areas of invasive plants so indigenous ones can go back in. In Waianae Valley, Paul Drews, Island News.